a death knight is never late. Lord of the Rings Online just did something major that, to my understanding, has never been done before in an MMORPG. Yes, that old as dirt MMO, Lord of the Rings Online, it's still going to this day. It's still releasing expansions. It's still innovating, making new content. And today, you're gonna learn about one of Lord of the Rings Online's newest features that came out with its latest expansion, Before the Shadow. A feature that will hopefully change MMORPGs going forward forever. Okay, so before we talk about what exactly Lord of the Rings Online did, we do need to establish a little bit of context real fast. All right, then keep your secrets. Many modern day MMOs have an absolutely massive issue that nobody seems to want to address. Specifically, we need to talk about that long neglected, abused, and frankly sometimes spit upon element of the MMO, the early game. If you're a new player to an MMO that's been around for a little bit, or if you're just somebody that really enjoys leveling in MMORPGs, you're kind of screwed these days. Most MMO companies have thought it prudent to just leave their early game experience as simple and straightforward as possible, abandoning them entirely in favor of focusing on the the end game. Most expansions for MMOs will have very little to do with the early game experience, questing, professions, low-level dungeons, whatever. All the focus and the emphasis is always put on making the veteran players happy not addressing the needs of the newcomer to the MMO or to the person that just wants to level a new character. This, of course, leads to new players trying out these sorts of MMOs, giving them a shot, and then being severely disappointed with how lifeless and dull the world can feel. Early game doldrums have been an issue in modern MMOs for so long that even games like World of Warcraft, which has a notoriously bad early game experience for new players, and veteran players alike, they even offer a cash shop incentive for you to just pay $60 and just skip the whole thing entirely. Maybe it's a good business model, but players often feel cheated by this sort of neglect being present in such a large part of the game. Now, Lord of the Rings Online is an MMO that's been around for a very long time, and it has boasted multiple expansions under its belt during its days, taking players from the steps of the Shire all the way to the fiery doom of Mordor. One does not simply walk into Mordor. And like with every other MMO that's been around for a while, Lord of the Rings Online has also faced this issue. New players, of course, want a fun and engaging early game experience to delight in, and veteran players don't want to be bored running the same content over and over again. Does that sound like you? Because it certainly sounds like me. You know, the level up in the early game should be fun. Also, you gotta keep in mind, Lord of the Rings Online is a game that is known primarily for its storytelling, its massive world and roleplay-like content. The developers actually want you to take your time leveling up in the world. They want you to experience the story that they have so painstakingly crafted. It's a very different approach to their MMO compared to game companies like Blizzard and like others who just want you to rush through all that content as fast as possible and get to the latest expansion. So here's the question, how do you fix this problem? How do you make the early game experience fun for new players without making it overwhelming, enjoyable for veteran players, and just make it overall a really good and fun and memorable time? Well, with Lord of the Rings Online's newest expansion before the shadow, they tried something new and it has brought a lot of attention to the game and has been bringing players back to Middle-earth in droves. And let me explain as to why. So this new expansion just brought to the game two new zones for people to explore, new quests to do, dungeon experiences, and a whole lot more. But there's one thing that Before the Shadow brought to the game that has gotten the most attention, and it is called the Adventure System. Let me explain. When you make a new character in Lord of the Rings Online, after you create them and go through the little tutorial, you can approach a specific NPC just outside of the new town of Moss Ward. He's standing just outside the city gate. Now, if you talk to this NPC, he sells to you some very peculiar items. He sells to you everything from potions to even new emotes that you can buy and use on your character. The only problem is, how do you buy this stuff? Well, it takes a special currency, and the only way to earn this currency is by participating in what's called the adventure mode. No, wait. 
We do not want any adventures here. Adventure Mode is a system that has multiple tiers to choose from, ranging from simple adventurous all the way to heroic. And what happens is when you choose one of these options, the entire world is going to scale up in difficulty for you and your questing experience. This means that enemies are now going to take less damage. They'll use special abilities like gaining the power to shield themselves. They can lay down traps and a whole lot more. Those formerly simple and easy to kill mobs, you shoot them like two or three times and they're dead. It ain't like that no more. The world suddenly becomes dangerous and scary. And by doing this, by choosing higher levels of difficulty to level in the world with, you will get rewarded with bonus experience points and virtue experience. And this amount that you get increases with every higher tier of difficulty. Now I know what you guys are thinking. You're thinking, man, you know, I've been playing MMOs for a while. I'm just gonna ramp it up to the highest difficulty, go out and quest in the world. I know what I'm doing. I suppose you think that was terribly clever. If you do this, be ready, because you're going to get two shot by the tiny piglet outside of town. So you have chosen death. You're going to quickly realize that this super high level adventure tier of difficulty is impossible to do on your own. And that's the point. You are going to need a group a fellowship in Lord of the Rings Online. You are gonna have to group up with your friends, take care of each other, and you will be going throughout the world together, desperately trying to survive. And guess what? Everybody's gonna benefit from it because everyone's gonna get those experience bonuses. You really are gonna go on a dangerous, unexpected journey together. Or if you don't have friends, you can do a lower level difficulty that's still manageable as a solo player. That's fine. Let's put it this way. Me and my friends have been checking this out. We're even talking about doing an entire leveling series in Lord of the Rings Online together as a group, something I've never done on this channel before. The whole world suddenly feels like a dungeon. That little like outpost of bandits suddenly becomes terrifying. You need to lay down traps, use crowd control, use the terrain to your advantage, or you are going to die. Throw on top of that a little bit of hardcore action where if you die, you delete the character. Death equals the right. And you've got a grand good time. Suddenly, the questing becomes more rewarding because you're doing it with your friends. Suddenly, the gear that you get becomes more impactful because it actually helps you out in the open world and has a real difference in your survivability in the world. You can't just turn your brain off anymore. It feels like a proper adventure, and this is a brand new system that Lord of the Rings Online has just introduced that they haven't even fully expanded on yet. Maybe right now, yeah, you can earn some emotes and level up pretty quick and have a really good time and get some extra little perks here and there. But in the future, who knows what they could do with this system? Imagine if other MMOs did something like this. Imagine if games like World of Warcraft, Elder Scrolls Online, Star Wars The Old Republic, and other big popular MMOs did a system like this where it actually encouraged friends to make alt characters together, to level up, or even if you wanna play solo, that's fine, play solo, but you're gonna be going through a much harder, more challenging and painful world experience than the brand new player that's just came to the game and he doesn't know what he's doing. Ever since this came out, it has been such a fun, fantastic, and enjoyable system to play with. The only con is the fact that so many people are playing Lord of the Rings Online right now that sometimes during peak time, the servers are lagging because there's too many players on the dang servers. And that's great. <laughs> I love it. The point is, if you're a big fan of MMOs like I am and you want a big breath of fresh air, Lord of the Rings Online is probably where you want to go right now because a lot of people are checking it out. A lot of people are trying out the adventure mode. It's just a fun system to do with your friends. You're going to have a lot of laughs because of it. And if you decide to undertake the adventure mode, play it smart. Don't be a fool.
because otherwise you are going to die. I recently talked about Lord of the Rings Online and whether or not it was worth playing in 2023. That video is linked on your screen right now. If you've never given this game a shot, I highly recommend it. Dive into Middle Earth, enjoy the storytelling, get into the role play, be a bard and play some custom made music and just have a good time, guys. My name is Nixium. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you with more Lord of the Rings Online content in the near future. Probably you fools.